The Rudy is, I think, are just gonna blow people's minds. The Rudy Mentals compilation of a diversity of Zimbabwean ska, Afrodisiac punk rock, northern metal, southern reggae, with a, with a classical influence, is a way to go. Very fresh, very interesting. Cape Town's got the greatest bands going. For it right now. Fuck off, police car, rudimentals. It's a scar band. It's some skanking business and shit. Back to 1993. Then the breakthrough came when we found Tibos. It's through a Cape Ads band, you know, total hard random thing. I was in a band in Zimbabwe, but I was mainly a sound engineer and then slash singer sometimes, you know, but I was basically a backing singer. And the whole idea in joining this band was to be a sound engineer. I saw this chap walking down the road one day. This guy came up to me and asked me, he's like, hey man. Do you want to be in the ska band? I was like, well, like, well what ska? <laughs> we wanted to do the, the multiracial thing because this is a multiracial country, multicultural thing. And ska fits that, you know, it's, a, it's got the roots of reggae, it's got the roots of punk, it's got stuff for, for youth of all colors. We decided not to settle for anything less. That's how we ended up with a nine-piece band, which we didn't really anticipate, but oh, what a kicking bunch of fellas. <laughs> We play to keep live music alive. We make happy music, feel good music. It's the rudiments of music, right? And the rudiments are the simple basics of music. We never wanted to prove that we're geniuses of music. Everybody gets their little piece, everybody plays their part. And it's a nice tight dance groove, you know, it gets people dancing. It's not about what we're trying to say, it's actually the expression comes from the audience and we're meeting a need, I think. People want to dance and when we came out, not many bands catered for a dancing market and the audience wasn't dancing, they'll go and watch a band and say, wow, that's profound. We're not profound. And I think that has been a really strong point. It's simple. And you want to dance to it, tap your foot. It's contagious, you know, people see us having fun and they want to have fun too. When you listen to the rudimentals music, your body just reacts to it involuntarily. So it is, a, I guess, a property of the mass, you know. The people who are there feed in and they get their bit out of it and that feeds back in. A lot have changed politically and uh, I kind of see ourselves as celebrating that, the merging of cultures and backgrounds. How many times we have to tell you girl, don't go with the hill, you sit up and go past so many money now, fancy come. I said that I rub with the band, yes, so far. How many times we have to tell you girl, don't go with the hill, you sit up and go past so many money now, 
Some people don't know what ska is, but they know the stuff. They've heard My Boy Lollipop way back from the 60s. In the 80s, there was this whole, the two-tone movement where there was a merging of reggae, which is predominantly a black kind of music, and a merging of angry, white, middle-class music, which was punk. It's all one goal, really, you know, that we're all trying to reach and that's to dominate the planet and perhaps the universe. Um, yeah, we're doing it slowly, apparently. We don't take ourselves seriously. You need a band that's just gonna like you can just get down and dirty and sweat a lot and just have a really fun time on stage and that was the rudimentals for me. They're special in that they're a uh, they're more a brotherhood than a than a band. There's a good good vibe. There's no personality clashes. There's there are very few egos. Um, there's no leader. It's a group where people bring ideas to the band and those ideas are tossed around amongst each member of the band and each member having a, a different kind of background and uh, enjoying different genre of music, each member contributes their own um, little bit towards it. It's not just a bunch of musos, it's a bunch of friends. I like spending time with my Rude Boys. It's just hell of a fun to be in a band like this. You know, Rude Boys, Rudimentals, you know, and mentally challenged, all of them. We, we love each other, don't we? And the more you spend time with them, actually, like, the better it gets. You just kind of feel honoured to be in a band like this. In the 50s, 40s, you had the, the kind of Mopansula thing, you know, going down in places like Soweto, where the accepted thing was to wear suits and, you know, the hat thing. The zoot suits are core to the whole scar thing. Its roots is from Jamaica, where you found, also in the 50s, the rude boys. In the rural areas in Jamaica, where there was a major sugar industry, I guess, not enough work to keep the population alive and, and happy. So guys were coming into town looking for work, wearing the suits and the ties, trying hard to to make a living and um, they got called rude boys because they ended up being gangsters and stuff on the street. There was some nun, I believe, who had a um, kind of convent school and she taught music in particular brass and she developed this strong kind of brass tradition in Jamaica and uh, the guys were good clean up standing rude boys so you know the suits and ties stayed. And the black and white thing is obviously from the 80s, bands like um, the Specials and the Selector, Madness borrowing from that whole two-tone era and making it our own, you know, the whole rude boy meets Mapantula meets two-tone. And the idea is that you've got black and white mixed up together and that's another core element of the lineup as well as the suits and stuff. And we've Africanized it, so it's more than just a, something we've borrowed from anywhere. I have new stanking shoes. It just looks so much neater, you know, seeing all these chaps dressed. Gentlemen, that's what we are. <laughs> 